Hi everybody, happy Tuesday, and today I'm going to be talking about clairaudience. The last video was about clairvoyance, and this one is going to be about um, the ability of uh, being clairaudient. Most people who are clairvoyant are also clairaudient. These two things usually go hand in hand. I don't think I've ever met a clairvoyant who was not clairaudient as well. Um, I gotta tell you, I'm feeling a little weird right now. I have a reading coming up, and um, this is what happens. This is what happens to me. I get uh, feel things physically, and I feel like I got somebody here that's overdosed. To be honest with you, which I'm just gonna keep recording. That way, you guys can see what it is that I go through sometimes. I will pick up physically physically, how people passed, um, whether it be their pains, uh, whatever happened to them before they passed, like if um, somebody overdosed, I will feel the effects of being high as a kite, which is what I feel right now. I feel like I'm high. Uh, it's hard to um, talk. Sometimes when it's hard to talk and I have pain in my head, that is usually somebody who's had a head trauma or an aneurysm or a stroke or something like that. But when I get this high feeling and it's hard for me to talk, it's because the person was, was high and they either, they passed of an accidental overdose or they passed, um, uh, purposely taking, taking their own life. And, um, as soon as I came in to my office where my computer is, I started getting that feeling. And I have to tell you that a lot of times people, most of the time, the spirit people will show up before the reading. Sometimes they show up weeks before. They know that their person is going to get a read. And I know this doesn't have, doesn't have anything to do with being clairaudient, but I figure since it's happening, I might as well share. Um, and it's also... a it's a phone reading. It's over the telephone. So that person who's coming, the person who's alive, is not going to be here in my physical space in, in the reading room. It's a separate room where I do the readings. I know it sounds like I'm babbling, but anyways, um, let me just explain this real quick and then I'll try to do the clairaudient thing. I will feel physically what happened to this person, whether they have passed from an impact or they had a stroke or if they had a heart attack or an aneurysm or Alzheimer's or whatever. Some of the things are, are a little bit similar, like head things like Alzheimer's and stroke and, um, an aneurysm are similar in the head. And it's hard for me to talk again, when somebody's passed of an overdose, whether it's on purpose or on accident, I will feel when, because when they're getting close to me, I can, I can feel just like if somebody got hit in the head or, or, or had pain or cancer or heart attack, I can feel, um, how it is that they passed. So I'm closing my eyes because it's making it a little bit easier for me to talk because I'm not getting as, um, as out there. I'm going to open my eyes. So yeah, I have a, a fun reading here soon at four and right now it's two thirty nine. This is normal. The spirits come ahead of time. I said a fun reading, right? Yeah. Uh, they come ahead of time. They can come weeks ahead of time. They can come a couple hours ahead of time. So I'm assuming that this one is coming with is for my four o'clock phone reading, but, um, you know, you never know. I'm just going to ask them to uh, back away a little bit and tell them to come back so I can do this real quick because I feel like I'm going to pass out because I do feel very high. Well, okay. Let's see what I can do here. Okay, so clairaudience is the ability um, to hear 
the spirit world clearly, clear hearing. You hear voices, you hear music, um, anything else. You might hear a crash, you might hear, you know, whatever, a babbling brook for all I know. And um, it is controlled or ruled, I guess, by the throat chakra, the throat chakra. And um, it's important to have the throat chakra balanced and open if you are wanting or trying to use this ability. A lot of people have it and don't realize it. I don't know if I've already said this. If I did, I'm sorry. Um, sometimes people will hear music going on and someone will say, hey, do you hear that music? And they'll externally hear it and someone's like, no, I don't hear anything. Because the other person that is not, either is not able to hear it or it's not meant for them to hear. Um, so if you want to work on your clear audience, I would work on your throat chakra. It's a chakra communication and it is linked with the clear audience. Open that chakra, um, develop that chakra, you know, open and balanced is important. And um, try to do some exercises, I would say. <sighs> yeah, they're, not, they're not far away enough yet. Wait. So, clear audience. For me, it started when I was just a small child. Um, spirits used to keep me awake. I'd hear them all night long. I'd have to put headphones on. I'd blare music. Um, I never slept. I never slept when I was a kid. I slept a little bit, but not a lot. And to this day, I still don't sleep well. I sleep better than I did. You know, there's some boundaries and, and things like that. And I play meditation CDs all night long. Um, but I still don't sleep good. And I probably never will. And that's okay. You know, I use um, my clear audience in my readings. I do. Um, and most people that are clairvoyant are also clairaudient. I might have mentioned this before I started doing my weird thing. But if I didn't, I'm doing it again now. So clear audience is in tandem with clairvoyance. Um, I've never met a clairvoyant who wasn't clairaudient. Let's just put it that way. And um, oh, excuse me, my throat made a my throat chakra made a sound. Um, God, sorry. Um, so a lot of times being clairaudient, you're going to hear things externally. A lot of times you're going to hear them internally. Like when you have that little voice in your head that says, turn right, turn right, or stop the car, or you hear a little white voice that tells you, you know, that's not a good idea for you to do or whatever it may be. And you, you go, what, what was that? Um, and it's not your own head. It might sound like your own voice, but if something just pops into your head like that, it's not your own voice. That's coming from somewhere else. It's either coming from one of your spirit guides or a family member or a friend who is passed, who is passed over, passed away. Okay. So anytime you get that in your head, voice that tells you to do something or not to do something or whatever and you wonder where did that come from know that that is clear audience you're being clear audience at that moment okay um let me see a lot of when people are doing readings like when i'm doing a reading i'm going to use me as an example um during a reading most of the time it is in my head okay when I'm doing a reading, most of the time, that voice is in my head. Um, when you're repeating something over and over and over again to somebody, like either a name or a part of a name or a phrase or, or, or whatever, that's information that you're getting from the other side, okay? Either from your spirit guides or <coughs> from um, somebody who's already crossed over, a family member or a friend unless you're doing a reading. So, um, let me see. So that's basically, I mean, clear audience is uh, clear hearing and the thro throat chakra 
is the communication chakra and it is associated with the clear audience so you know keep it balanced and keep it open if that's something that you want to use um, I can't think of anything else right now I'm sorry but uh, I didn't expect that to happen well, I should have seen that coming right yeah that's not how this works um, so I think that's it that's all yeah I think that's it at least that's all I can think of at the moment because I'm, I'm kind of you know um, out there so yeah I don't even know if I'm gonna if I'm gonna post this or not you know what let me go ahead and stop it <laughs>